Hello Octoprint fans, former Lurker here again. This is episode two in my ongoing series uh, covering some of the new features that will be available in the next release of Octolapse. And today's video is all about profiles and settings. One of the things that I hear a lot online in discussions about 3D printing and Octolapse uh, are what are your settings? Uh, can you share your settings with me? Share your printer settings or your camera settings? And it's not the easiest thing to do in the world. Uh, typically it involves looking at the screens, taking snapshots, uh, or worse yet, typing all the settings in. So I wanted to make this process a little bit easier and give people an opportunity to share the profiles that they've created with me or with the world, or maybe just back them up in case, uh, in case catastrophe happens. You'll have a backup of your settings. So I have added several features to, to tackle this. And I'm going to walk through those today. So first, let's go into our printer profile settings. And you'll notice this is kind of new. These are all hyperlinks now. So if I click on the printer, it takes me to the printer page. I see I've got my MK2.5S profile here. And let's say I want to import these settings from a file that I previously downloaded with this export settings button. Now this button actually existed earlier but it was called download settings. I changed it to export to make to make it match the import button. Let's go ahead and click import and I'm uh, presented with this pop-up screen and I've got a couple options here. I can import from a file or from text. We're gonna start off by importing from a file and I'm gonna click this upload button and I've got a couple profiles that I've exported. I've got this printer profile and this is actually all of the profiles. This is the entire uh, Octolapse settings. I downloaded those earlier and I'm going to import those. I'll click import. You'll see it loads, settings imported, and you'll notice the name of this profile changed. That's actually the only difference between the current settings and the ones I just imported. But I wanted to make it obvious that something actually happened. Um, similarly, I could import a single profile instead of all profiles. So I'll click import, upload new, and I'm going to click on this printer profile, which is a copy of the printer profile that already exists. Open, import, and you'll notice it added a new profile. I could also download a profile. Let's go to the stabilizations, download this, and you'll notice I get the stabilization JSON right here. Or I could download all the settings. That's all the Octolapse settings right now. And that's really all it takes to uh, download and then importing is just a matter of pointing to that file. Let me sh also show you that you can import straight from text. So I've got some JSON here I'm going to paste in. This is the same printer profile that we imported earlier but it's just in text form. Hit import. See that also imported. If I switch back to the printers I see yet another profile. So that's a great way to quickly get or share settings with a friend or back them up. Um, but I wanted to make it even easier than that. Uh, there's a lot of profiles out there that come with, with uh, Octolapse, a lot of printers, and frequently someone sends me a request to add a new printer or to add a new stabilization or to s support some new camera. And almost always that would, in the past, that required a new release of Octolapse. But now I have a separate repository that only holds the profiles and you can actually download them straight from the server. So let's try that. I'm going to click Add Profile here. And you can see this new Import Printer Profile section. And it's asking for your make of your printer. So I'm going to pick, pick one, Prusa. And for my model, I've got an MK2.5S. It warns me that it's going to override all the current settings. And that's fine. That's exactly what I want to do. And then you'll notice the profiles updated and it actually hid a lot of the settings. So all the settings that uh, are in here in this profile are, are now hidden. The current slicer settings are still shown because you may need to come in here and update those. Uh, but if you need to make some changes or you want to just look and see what the settings are, you can click this customize profile button and they pop back up. And you can scroll through all the settings, you can make any of the changes you want. And if you decide, nah, I really don't want to make any changes, you can disable this customized profile. And it warns you that it's going to re-download from the server, just in case you've made some changes. 
and click that and it'll tell me whether or not it worked or whether or not maybe there was a problem downloading the file. Now when when the customized profile option is not enabled uh, you'll actually receive update notifications. If I make a change to one of these profiles or if I figure out that there was a mistake or if there's an enhancement. So this way you can keep all of your non-custom profiles up to date. There's actually also a setting in the main settings that controls whether or not automatic updates are enabled and how often to check. So you can change this. I recommend keeping it a little bit higher. Uh, a check every 30 days by default I think is pretty good. That gives me some time to change uh, the profiles and receive some notifications if there's a problem. And you'll also find this profile import everywhere. It's in every single profile. Everything that's available in the defaults is also available here. I can pick back left and now this is a, a server updatable profile or we can customize it. Similarly for the camera, basically all the controls have it. So hopefully that makes everything easier in terms of sharing profiles and hopefully it'll make it easier for me to keep all the profiles up to date and to add new profiles as soon as I get them ready for new printers or if I come up with a new stabilization or maybe some trigger settings tweaks. So what do you think? If you like it, leave me a comment. Let me know. Um, changes, modifications, pros, cons. Anyway, I want to hear your feedback. So thanks a lot for watching. Former Lurker out.